Hi guys, welcome to Sarah's Creative Studio. I'm a mom to two little girls, and I frequently find myself in a dilemma to keep introducing new books to my girls. My older one is a kindergartner and has already started her first set of Oxford Reading Tree books, and I find them so fascinating. Books that are so simple, yet have such a great impact on the child's ability to memorize words that will eventually help them read whole sentences. Now, my channel focuses mainly on children's books content, so I thought why not try to create a similar book. If this was some five years ago, I'd need a writer, an illustrator, and a publisher. However, today with AI, a mom like me can do this just from her laptop at home. And, I want to take you guys with me on that ride as well. Let's create our first book that will hopefully become a series just like the Oxford Reading Tree. Let's go to ChatGPT, our old friend, who has just gotten so much better. I first prompted it to know if it knew about the Oxford Reading Tree, and it did. I then asked if it could help create something similar for me. He helped me build a roadmap, and then I finally gave it my main prompt, which I'm going to share a screenshot of, and will also be linking to my blog so you can copy from. Next, I gave ChatGPT a prompt to help me design just three to four characters for our reading series, which will stay consistent throughout, and also prompted it to draft me a stage one story using these characters. After I got that story, I prompted ChatGPT to give me a visual description of each character so we could generate our images. Now, let's begin the tricky part, creating consistent, consistent characters. characters. We will be using Majourney for this. A basic membership will cost you about 8 USD 10 per month, and you'll be able to create over 200 images with that. It has so many amazing options and very easy to use, so it's definitely worth it. Let's head over to Majourney and start creating our characters. Once we're on the website, we'll start typing our prompt on this search like Imagine Bar on the top center of the page. I want my characters to have a similar art style like Oxford Reading Tree, so I'll use them as a style reference. For that, all you need to do is click this image icon and then click Style Reference. Then we'll upload an image that we want to refer to for style. I'm using an image from a page of Oxford Reading Tree with its characters. If you want to improvise and change things up a bit, you can do the same steps and use a different image for your style reference. Next, let's type in our prompt. I'll put a screenshot of my prompt on the screen. I have just described my first character, which is a little boy, and I've used as much visual detail as possible, and then also added the words character sheet with different poses and angles. This will give us at least three to five images of the same character in different poses and angles. I did the same for my other characters. As you can see, a little girl and a turtle and a grandmother. Definitely worth it. Now comes a very complex part of this video. To isolate these images, then stitch them up together in order to create a coherent scene for our book. And not just one, but many. In order to ensure that you're not confused, let me hold your hand and take you step by step through the process. Save your character sheets. Let's open Photopea to isolate our images into separate image files for each pose slash expression. Just follow the steps I'm doing. Click New Project. Then from the print options, select size A4. Now open your character sheet. I have opened the little boy's character sheet. Now click the rectangular selection tool. Left click your mouse, hold it and drag to select one pose of the little boy. Now on your keyboard, press Ctrl and C together to copy this selection. Go to your blank of four art board and from your keyboard, press Ctrl and V together to paste the selection. From the toolbar, right click on the erase and select Magic Eraser. Now click the yellow background to remove it from the image. We want it to be white or black. Remove any unwanted things from the background using the Magic Eraser. Now export this isolated image as pose number one for your little boy character as PNG or JPEG. 
Repeat this process for all the poses from your character sheet for all the characters. Once we have our characters all isolated in separate files, let's head back to chat page first. I prompted chat GPT to create me detailed descriptions of the visuals for each page so we can be as detailed in our prompts for our background, character expressions, and actions, etc. Now let's go back to mid-journey and use those descriptions to create our first scene. We will start by generating the background for our story, which is going to be consistent throughout the story. This will be a living room. I'm going to take the background description from ChatGPT and then paste it in the Imagine bar on Midjourney. I will also choose the Oxford Reading Tree image as style reference for this image. The dimensions for this image will be 16 to 9 for a landscape image. Midjourney generated four images for us. I'm going to choose one that I feel goes best with my story. Next, I also generated an image of a kitchen for the last scene of our story. I saved these images. Now I will start creating images with different poses for our characters of the little boy, little girl, and the turtle. The first page of our story narrates the little boy saying, I see a box. ChatGPT created a visual description for us saying that there's a cardboard box in the living room and the little boy is pointing at it. To make sure that our little boy was consistent with our character sheet, I used the option Omni Reference and uploaded the isolated front pose of the little boy from our character sheet. Majorney kept our character the same and the pictures it generated were decent. However, I wanted the little boy to be at a distance and I also wanted the little girl that was hiding in the cardboard box to only show the top of her head. So I decided to generate some separate images of the boy and of the girl as well. The reason I did this was, I will use these separate images and using Photopea, I will stitch them up together to create the scene. I did this for all the images. Now another interesting thing you can do is, use Halio AI video to create animations of these images after you've generated one image. And then use the stills from those animations as scenes for your storybook pages. More detail on that after I show you how I stitched up these images together to create our scenes. First, open up Photopea and put in the dimensions 17.25 into 8.5. These dimensions will help us format this book for Amazon KDP. When your artboard is ready, upload your living room background and the image where the little girl was hiding in the cardboard box. Add the living room background to the artboard. Now come back to the image with the little girl in the cardboard box. I'm using the polygonal lasso tool from the toolbar to isolate the, the girl and the cardboard box from this image so I can copy and paste it to our other living room image. I trace around the edges and once I select the image, I press Ctrl plus C to copy the selection and go back to the living room background to paste it. I adjust the size and position of the box. I also use the clone tool from the toolbar to fill in some empty spaces around our cardboard box. For that, I simply press Alt on my keyboard and click on the portion of the box I want to clone. I let go of Alt and then click the empty spaces to fill them in. Now I want the girl to be a little more hidden. For that, I'm going to select the polygonal lasso tool again and I will trace around the girl's face only and copy paste it onto another layer on this artboard. Now I will use the move tool and move it downward. Then I will use the eraser tool to remove parts I don't want to be visible. Now I want the little boy to stand next to the box at a distance pointing towards the box because our first page should say, I see a box. I generated an image on the journey using Omni reference of the little boy pointing to the right. I use the Oxford Reading Tree Style illustration as style reference. Now I will use this image to place the little boy in our living room scene. Since this image had a white background, I simply use the magic eraser tool to remove the background. 
I then copy pasted the image to our living room scene and erase rough edges. I will add text to our image now. I will use the rectangular shape tool from the toolbar and add it to the bottom of our image. After adjusting the shape and size, I will use the text tool to add our text. I see a box. You can use any font. I am using a rounded font called Balsamic Sands, which comes with Photopea's own fonts. And there you have it. Just like that, your first page is ready. Go ahead and export it as PNG or JPEG. Now let me show you how you can use Halio AI to create animations for these images and then use those stills in your story. I created a few more pages using the technique I showed you on Photopea. However, for some images, I just could not for the life of me get Midjourney to generate decent pictures. As you can see, I tried using the edit tool to place a sleeping turtle on the boy's head, but failed miserably. I tried generating both the boy and girl giggling in the box, and again the images were not very consistent. That's when a crazy idea came to my mind. I can use Halio AI. It's literally the best animation tool out there that keeps your character consistent and creates stunning animations. It is super affordable. You get 100 free credits for the first three days when you sign up. Thereafter, you can choose one of their plans. The cheapest one is just 8 US dollars per month and you can generate up to 83 videos in a month. Now let's get back to the part where I generated animations to use as stills for my storybook pages. Open up Halio AI, video and click video. Now upload your image. I'm using the one we just created on Photopea. Now add your prompt. I am going to add the visual description from chat pip that says, Boy climbs into the cardboard box. Both children are now squeezed inside it, laughing. I used the model Halio 01 Live. Kept the quality 720, P and duration 6 seconds. Then I click Generate. Now let's check out animation it created for us. Similarly, I created the turtle sleeping on the boy's head animation. You can how Halio AI has not ruined our character at all, while adding motion to the image. I will use this image as a still by taking a screen shot of the best frame of the video and then uploading it to Photopea. I will use the same steps to copy and pasting it to our original image, as you can see me doing on the screen. I erase the parts I don't want and adjust the placement. Now just like that, I created another still for the visual, Grandma says it's dinner time. I placed our grandma to the image with the kids. I saved that and went to Helio AI and uploaded the image. I then prompted it. Grandma pointing to the right telling children dinner is ready. Children smile and the two turtle smiles. Camera stay still. I use the model Helio O2, which is their most advanced model and works even better than their previous models. There are more options with this one, like being able to choose a start frame and an end frame, also Camrera movements. Check out the animation it created for us. Simply amazing. No alteration to the characters. I will use the still from this animation to create another storybook page. Let's go over to Photopea and start editing another page. The best thing about this still is, I don't even have to edit anything. I will just use the still as is and just remove the text below it to add new text. I will use the shape tool again and the text tool to add text. And that's it. Your storybook page is ready. Halio AI has been a lifesaver for me in terms of creating consistent characters for my storybooks when Midjourney failed. If I hadn't bought the Midjourney subscription, I would stick to just Halio AI as it creates unlimited images as well. So if there's one app you need, that's Halio AI for both image generation and animation for all your use cases. 
I can bet I showed you the most unique use case for it today. No one is going to spill these secrets. Before we move on to the next part of this video, which will be formatting our book for Amazon KDP, I want to show you one last page I created. I generated individual images of our characters eating at the dinner table and then used Photopea to stitch them together using the same steps I showed you in this video previously. Watch this time lapse to see how effortlessly we can do this with simple tools. Now let's move on to formatting. Let's format this book for Amazon KDP. We're going to open Canva and we will add the dimensions 8.625 into 8.75 inches. We do this so that the one page of our storybook we create can be formatted onto two pages. This way, we'll have a seamless transition between two pages and our book size will remain square. The first page is going to be the book title and we'll leave the second page of this book empty. Then on the third page, we'll add goals of this book. And the page after that is going to be a guidance page. I prompted chat to create me a page where the person assisting the child reader to know how to read this book. So I will add all that content onto the fourth page of our book. In this video, I've done these steps haphazardly, however, the sequence to follow is the one I just mentioned. Now we'll skip page 5 and we'll start from page 6. Now after uploading your book pages into Canva, add the first storybook page on the sixth page. Now drag it to the right so only half of it covers the page. Now add another page, this will be page 7. Now add the same storybook image to page 7 and drag it to the left so it covers the rest of the half of that image. Repeat this for all pages until you have about 28 to 29 pages. After you're done, you can save this as a PDF print. Now, let's design the book cover. The dimensions for the book cover can be calculated using Amazon KDP's book cover calculator, which I will link in the description as well as on my website where I lay down these instructions in written format. Now, open the book cover calculator and add the details. I'm going to place the screenshot of the details I added. When I click Calculate Dimensions, it gives me a detailed breakdown of the dimensions of our cover. I will simply just look at a full cover size and copy those dimensions into Canva to start designing my cover. Now, for the cover, I kept the design very simple. I used one of the images of our story and just kept everything plain. I added the book title and an author name. I also added some back of the book information which I had chat generate for me. I will save this design as a PDF print as well. And there you have it. We have our book ready to be uploaded to Amazon KDP. I've made several videos where I show you how to upload your book to Amazon KDP so I will not be covering that in this video. But be sure to check out my channel for more amazing videos like this one. Don't forget to check out my website for written instructions and do subscribe to my channel.